Story is a snapshot of our 2014 budget summary. As you can see, with the added request, we are currently at $9.1 million in requests. Our projected revenue, with keeping our county mill rate the same, is $8 million, even for round figures. So currently, we will be experiencing a shortfall based on request of $1.1 million. What I've provided you with this evening is a sheet that we will kind of keep tally marks on throughout the process, as I mentioned um, previously last Tuesday night. If, if we were to take the rollback rate, we could increase our revenue to $57,500. And if we were to maintain 12 furlough days, we could take that $148,500 off. How much um, would you repeat that for $148,500. The cost per furlough day is $12,375 per day. At this point, with that variance for consideration, that's $900,000 that we would still be left to cut. While I know furlough days are not a popular, I will not be popular by supporting furlough days, but I, my job is not to be popular. My job is to balance the budget. Um, you know, if, if we find money within the budget and can restore half of them, that will be better than having to take 12. But at the same time, I would rather take baby steps than not have to go fiscal year 15 and take the six back away. That is just the approach of being responsible. Um, this is just where we are. I wanted you guys to be aware of what that number is because you're seeing it over and over again as we're going through everybody's budget. And I want you to be able to put a value on that increase that you're seeing, if that makes sense. Um, you know, when we get to the end of the process and we've gone through everybody's budget and we've made those adjustments, we can revisit that. But at this point, I think it's important for you guys to understand what that value is. Um, and as we said in the magistrate court, we can go ahead and um, subtract off an additional six thousand dollars for that um, that particular line, um, which would take us to eight ninety four seven thirty four of a variance. What I want to encourage the commissioners is, as we go through each department, it's important that you listen and understand what their needs are, but at the same time, we'll have time to regroup and formalize the work session that will allow us to make those reductions as needed. And at any point in the process, if you guys want me to take the budget and cut it and bring back further recommendations, I'll be glad to do it at that point as well. Um, but, but this is just kind of gives you a snapshot of where we are as of right now. Okay? So the only cut that we're adding to the list tonight would be the $6,000 to magistrate, unless if there are items that we want to discuss now. If not, I'm going to pass out some of this finance stuff that I'm going to go over as far as funds and cash availability and that kind of thing. Well, I, I think, Lori, if you would, it may be helpful if you would take these department that we just went over tonight okay. and look over those and make a recommendation to us on those as we review. And then we can take the view your proposal versus what we would. Okay. I'll be glad to do that. So I'm tomorrow night. Really right. So, so, so tomorrow, so tomorrow night. And between the next work session, I will take the opportunity to look at the parts that we reviewed tonight right. and make any suggestions or recommendations. Right. That's what she likes to do. So that way, when we get to right. the end, we're not looking at the whole big exactly. picture. Exactly. No, 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 I completely understand. I just want to see how you guys want to take this, this shortfall. I mean, it's 
got to be a one binder at a time, but I just want to figure out if you guys want me to bite it, I don't mind in making those suggestions. Yeah, I think we're going to have to bite it together. Okay.